Now we can add some chordal guitar. So let's go up to the sound browser and scroll along to guitar, smart guitar. I'm going to tap on the acoustic guitar and I'm going to change that to hard rock. And I'm going to choose autoplay number four, which matches what we did in the bass. So have a wee listen. <laughs> on the chord strip to stop it from playing once you've had a wee shot. Make sure you're back at the very beginning by tapping return and we're going to do the same as we did in the bass. So it's going to go G, 2, 3, 4, A minor, 2, 3, 4, C, 2, 3, 4, D, 2, 3, 4. Tapping just before the pointer reaches the next bar line, number line there on the ruler guide, okay? So make sure you're at the start and we'll have a go of recording. You can record, undo, go back to the start and re-record as many times as you need to. Once you've got your chordal guitar recorded, you could try changing the sound. The roots rock is quite nice. And in the next step, we're going to add a bit of lead guitar. <laughs> 